Hi guys, this is Faisan. Um, today in the visual aids uh, uh, presentation, I will be uh, giving a demonstration of uh, how to make a basic portrait uh, sketch. Just a basic base structure. I am basically doing electronics and visual aids technology, but uh, my hobby from almost my whole life has been uh, sketching portraits and different art stuff. So. Over here, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, my sketching. Basically, I have uh, uh, the for sketching. I have uh, sketching pencils, erasers, uh, my uh, scales, and uh, perfect board. Right now, I'm just demonstrating it and differently. So I'll, I'll be using this pencil, like a basic one. If you guys are using this pencil, that will be fine. It doesn't affect the sketching. So um, this sketch you see, I just draw it in a in one minute I guess two minutes so this is a basic one just to give you a demonstration that how to measure the face and uh, uh, structure of uh, nose eyes and lips on a sketch so when we start the sketching uh, I basically like to start from the forehead here uh, moving through the eyes I go to the cheeks I get a little structure to the chin and then I uh, make my measurements for eyebrows this is for basic uh, face sketching so Basically, uh, the net scale is from forehead. Start of the forehead, where we start our hair, to the eyebrows, and eyebrows to nose, and nose to chin. These are same equal distances, three equal lengths. So, here I'm gonna give structure to nose. Every face is different, every length, uh, thickness and uh, all the specs vary according to the female face, male face. I'm just gonna give a basic structure, I won't be going into much detail. A little highlight I like to give highlights on the things because uh, on the paper when we sketch things are one-dimensional and to give them a two-dimensional three-dimensional and multi-dimensional look we like to do shading eye structures are basically every time uh, general it's just the style we make according to the portrait and the depth of them which is due to this shading part I like to draw uh, eyelashes because they give depth to the eyes this is a technique to Make deep eyes in the sketching. Okay, uh, in the same way, it, it's important to make a symmetry 
shape for the eyes so that one eye won't be on the random side or won't look on symmetry. I guess um, I'm just gonna, I can make much better eyebrows but due to the lack of time I would just give it a basic shape to the eyebrows how they go so next eye the other eye would be a little stretched because this is facing towards us And uh, here, I guess we can see image started appearing. We can always have a look uh, from the. We can have a look from the distance that how does it appear, and always can make corrections. Okay, so I guess uh, about the hair structure. Hair are wavy. Uh, it depends on the style. Uh, we can make it much more neater if we need to go in depth. Of the same uh, same uh, flow of the pencil can go all all over the hair. I love to use charcoal colors for that. Uh, charcoal pencil because it gives the dark shade on the hair and make it much more pretty. This is neck. So this part under the chin for the neck can go uh, shade so that the chin appears pops out. Here stays inside under the ear and here it goes. And we are almost done, I guess. So there you go. We're done with the basic structure, and you can see you guys can do that too. It's not that hard. Um, I've seen so many uh, websites, people are posting uh, a lot of questions on how to do this, how to do that. It gets a bit hard, but practice is the key. So try it for yourself and comment on the video. Thank you guys.